Hi guys, this video is about my experience with sequential 3D printing on the Ankermake M5C. But even if you don't have exactly this 3D printer, maybe still worth to listen what I have to tell you about my experience here because it's rather a shocking experience. I mean, Ankermake definitely not a no-name company. They have a really good reputation, good reviews in general. And I've been super happy with the printer. My most reliable 3D printer till now, fastest one, most reliable, didn't cause any issues until I started with this sequential printing and I'm never ever going to do, I'm never ever going to try that anymore and this is why. So I started with that a couple of weeks ago and worked actually pretty good. By the way, to activate that, you have to go to the Anchor Make Studio and then you have to go to the Slice menu and then you have the 3D model there and then of course you can duplicate it or even copy it three or four or five times depending how much space you have on the hotbed and you can add as many objects as you want there's absolutely no problem you can even add them really close in the studio there's absolutely no problem because what the printer would do it would do the whole thing layer by layer by layer i mean of course you wouldn't have it so close a little bit a uh, gap here but still the printer would do it layer by layer by layer but usually that's not working because the filament has cooled down and still the printer comes back it's too cold doesn't stick anymore causes a lot of problems so that's why we are usually using the sequential printing so it starts then with one model and does the whole thing and when it's finished it does the next one does the whole thing and then it does the next one that's the idea here but of course the printer has to make sure or the slicer menu has to make sure that the printer head is not hitting the already printed model that's the thing here but that's actually not the only problem and i think that's one of the big problems here because the designer of the studio has not been aware of that not only the extruder can hit the already printed model but also the crossbar where the extruder is attached to and this is what happened to me i can show you that model here I hope you can see that here there's a little bit of a damage on top and I've seen that in the camera that this is definitely a problem. Luckily when I've printed these two models sequentially it hasn't been a problem because I've not placed them side by side but actually a little bit shifted one in the left upper corner and one in the right bottom corner and so the crossbar didn't hit the already printed model but with this thing it happened exactly like that so it has printed this on one side and then wanted to print exactly same model on the other side again which wouldn't be a problem for the extruder itself and so the slicer in the anchor make studio has not detected any collision i mean when you have it too close when you put them in the slicer too close and then say sequential printing it would say no that's not working but when you move them a little bit to the side the slicer will say okay that looks good because the printer head won't hit the old model here but the problem is that they are not considering that the crossbar will hit the old model that's a big problem and i guess this could be even a general problem maybe they are even using some public source code where this faulty software code is coming from but i would be very very careful no matter what 3d printer you are using i would definitely stay away from that the risk is too large and even when you can manage to print it like that you put one in the left upper corner for example and this one in the right bottom corner so usually this should work but there's actually another problem i had it here in this case i hope you can see that that's my normal model here looks really good and that's the model which i had in the corner and it looks like it has hit an area 
weather was quite some heating. Imagine after it has finished the first model and wants to start printing the second object, then probably the printer is heating up the hotbed again a little bit above normal printing temperature and probably this corner was very close to a heat coil or I don't know what happened. I mean usually I haven't seen any problem at the start when the printer was heating up the hotbed for the first layers but for me that definitely looks like there was some problem with too much heat and I guess that happened when it wanted to start printing the second model because that's not the top that's actually the bottom and that could maybe explain why it's melted here. So even though it has not hit this model here with the extruder and also not with the crossbar but it still melted the really nice printed model and destroyed it. So we have so many problems. I mean of course if you want to try around maybe there's an option which you can set to avoid some additional problems and if you're super careful and also monitor when it starts printing a second third model or so but that's actually not the idea the idea is to be able to print couple of objects without supervising the whole process and exactly that looks like it's not possible by the way if you're still interested to try around you have to go to the slicer menu and then on the right side you have printer filament process and in the process you can activate the expert mode and then when you're in the expert mode you have quality strength speed support and other other is on the right side so you have to click on other and then go down a little bit and there's the print sequence unfortunately there's not even explanation about that it just says one is object printing and one is layer printing but it's actually not even saying what you're selecting when you're checking the box there but I can confirm here with the anchor make it's definitely activating the sequential mode when the box is checked. What's also helpful is then on the left side to check the travel. You can make that visible. You have to check another box on the left side to make the travel of the extruder visible. And so check the travel with the box checked and without the box checked and you will notice then which version you will have. Definitely is a huge difference of course because you have a lot of travel. When you make the whole thing layer by layer then it has to travel from each model to the next one. So again for me I'm definitely done here with sequential printing on the Anchor Make M5C and I definitely wouldn't recommend to even try and I would be also very careful doing that with any other 3D printer. I'm pretty sure they have also similar problems and this could even destroy your really nice 3D printers. So I would highly recommend to stay away from that. So that's it for now. I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments or want to share your own experience with 3D printing, especially sequential printing, then just let us know down in the feedback area. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.